Bishop and welcome to another Thunder Laser tutorial. Okay, so I can get a better camera angle and let you see what's going on. I'm going to take this front panel off. Well, that's made of very thick gauge steel too, it's quite heavy. Uh, you also see I put some uh, of my magnets around here too because the the material is just very, very slightly bold. Now, to get a real good outcome, uh, especially when you're, you're doing a, a vector trace with your laser, uh, you know, you need it as flat as you can, you can get it. Now, for this sort of process, I would normally use um, eighth inch or three millimeter ply. Uh, I haven't got any. <laughs> I forgot to pick some up, so. I'm using, well, it's about 8mm ply, actually. So, uh, what I'm going to do is drive the table down and we will focus this. So, to, to focus what you do, you press Menu and the first item that is highlighted up on the menu is Focus, so you just press Enter. That's no focus. So I'm going to bring the head this all down. Uh, where's the datum? Okay, the datum for this is over in this bottom corner here. So let's come over. Uh, let's get my tape measure out, I think. So I get some idea. Just over. I like to get it somewhere near, right? So I know I'm not going to bash into anything. Because you re you really don't want to uh, this head to you know belt into anything because it'll. Well, you know, it could really damage the, the, the nozzle and the, the whole system. So you've got to be sort of fairly careful with it. So I'm going to press the origin and we'll do a frame. Alright, so I'm going to get the best position for you guys to see this. Uh, I'm going to have to co close the the um, the door down. So um, I hope you like this one. And of course this is actual speed of the laser. This is not speeded up footage, uh, but I will play some uh, some speeded up footage, otherwise you'd be sat here watching this for 20 minutes.
vector laser art. Now to finish this off I could have cut out this picture and then cut a frame out of uh, another piece of uh, this sort of material or even better material and um, set it into a frame. But more often than not this type of vector laser art is put into a panel into a wall divider or a, a bar either, either below the bar or behind the bar and you can finish this with a just a thin layer coat of varnish which will uh, you know take the color down even darker that whole job took 20 minutes to well it's technically a cut uh, but you're only cutting sort of partially into the material and leaving a black line and here you can see it took 22 minutes and 16 seconds so this is just one product that you can very very easily make with your thunder laser combined with light burn and light burn light burn is the program uh, i would say would be best suited for this type of work in fact if you are going into a small business or getting really serious as a as a hobby uh, i would suggest uh, a light burn would be the way to go but you still can start off with RD Works. A lot of people ask me what you would charge for a job like this. Well, if you was making these panels, you know, say for example you had an order um, that would consist of 10 of these panels. So you would have to factor in the artwork, laser time, Okay, so you, you have to factor into a job how much time you're going to spend with your laser. Now, around the world, it's going to alter what you can charge. But what I can tell you is in Australia, America, most of Europe, a job like this, taken into consideration the artwork, the material, and as I say, laser time, you are looking at between $70 and $100 per panel. So 10 of these, you can charge $700. Of course, you're not going to get work like that every day. But this type of work, you can advertise yourself as one of your capabilities and over the coming months I will show you different other projects that you can use to become one of your capabilities and with your thunder laser it is quite possible you can earn a thousand dollars per day so I hope you've liked the video today and I hope you tune in for more videos like this. If you have, please like and subscribe. And if you really like what I'm doing, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel. Patron information is below this video in the video description area. So thank you for joining me today. And of course, as always, this video is brought to you by Thunder Laser. And Thunder Laser is the only laser I would purchase. So thank you for joining me, and it's bye for now.